Commander Yun. Adam Roslin, I'm glad you came. I generally like to finish what I started. Has the ruse worked? Better than I could have hoped. The two gangs are about to engage in all-out battle for supremacy. I hope it's worth it. I assume you have a backup plan in place for when they start talking. I assure you that will never happen. Their mutual hatred has been stoked beyond any reason. That sounds more like overconfidence than wisdom. You do not know me well enough to take such an informal tone. Yeah, maybe. But if any of them stop shooting long enough to ask questions, it'll lead right back to the Coalition. And what will you do then? There are, perhaps, precautions we could take, if it's not too late. And by we, I suppose you mean me. You said you wanted to finish what you started. It would mean flying almost directly into the midst of their battle and not being seen. Sounds suicidal. What's the goal? There's a long-range comms network in the sector, left over from the war. If you can jam their transmissions, they won't be able to put two and two together about the deception. Okay, but if we use the radio dishes as jammers, I'd have to activate every single one manually, right? Not an easy play. It's my fault for not thinking of this sooner. I can't ask more of you, Mr. Roslin. But if I do nothing, the station could end up even, even more danger than before I put these events in motion. Please, Adam. For the sake of the children. I can't say I fully agree with your way of doing things, or using Alex's kids to pull my heartstrings, but... You're dealing with lunatics here. Like they're just approaching. Those are quite big fleets. And there are presumably even more units waiting outside the perimeter. Located the long range dishes Commander Ming Yun spoke of. There are four in this sector. Good. Mark the coordinates for me. Just need to watch out that no one sees me. enough for me to apply a wide-band frequency jammer. Done. However, I have left open a back channel should you wish to listen in to live comms from the battle. Sure, <laughs> that might be entertaining. You will all die for what you have done. It's only you fools who die today, you deranged merman. I was willing to let the past lie, but you just couldn't resist taking a cheap shot. Just keep telling yourself that. Right to your grave. Jammer uploaded? Yes, and I am continuing to tap their lines. Your losses are becoming too much. So are yours, Admiral. Maybe you should have thought twice before throwing your bombs our way. I've never thought twice about 
Forces to just give up already. You're the one to talk. Spare your men additional losses and surrender. Never. Especially not to someone who steals our tech. As if I would ever dream of acquiring your ill-begotten ordnance. Here with the lies again. It really is pathetic. I know it was your people. It is your people who lie. You wouldn't know truth if it hit you in the face. Hive, I don't like the direction this conversation's going. We need to get that last dish jammed fast. to be one remaining comms dish, but it is very low frequency. I cannot locate it. Scanning. Scan faster. Come on, Zealous. I know it was you. Your signature bombs were planted all over our base. The bombs that were stolen by you. Are you kidding me? Why the hell would we steal your bombs to bomb ourselves? Something's not quite right. I'm starting to think we've been duped. But who? Ceasefire, everyone. Scrap, I think we're screwed. Hey boss, I'm picking up a bogey. He's been watching us this whole time. Well, Admiral, what do you say we give them a warm welcome? Attack! I've been detected. You again! You're the jerk that stole our bombs. What the hell are you playing at? Just making sure none of you leave here alive. <sighs> I'll sooner see you burn to ashes. Oh, 
dying right now. Weapons have little to no effect on this ship class. You should consider focusing on smaller targets. Yeah, you're probably right. Damn it. I don't know how much more of this the ship can take. on this matter. It would be wrong to abandon you after what you have done for us. If I cannot save one life, how can I guarantee the lives of all my people? That's mighty big of you, Mingyun. The coalition? Mingyun, you were behind all of this. You tried to deceive us. Correction, Balakin. I did deceive you. You have both already lost enough of your firepower to cease to be a threat any further. So, why don't you back down now with what you have remaining? Never. You're going to pay for your trickery, woman! Then so be it. Brace for immediate annihilation. Everyone attack. Leave no survivors. This is some melee. What do we get ourselves into this time, Hive? To maintain what little sanity I have remaining, I ceased questioning these situations long ago. Wow, what is it? Layover loot from our outlaw days. We had kept it as a gift for our best proven pilot in the field. But since I guess you're it now... Thanks. 